Namaste viewers welcome to Sri Ananta YouTube channel in today's episode of my journey with Sri Bhagavan Satya Sai Baba let us ask Swami ji to continue the story of Sai Baba embodiment of law my journey with bhagwan sri 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 satya sai baba in my last episode i have revealed about his divine code life is a challenge meet it in continuation of that whatever i underwent the circumstances and experienced i am going to share with you once when i entered into bhagwan's ashram at puttaparthi in every nook and corner wherever his divine codes were been displayed i found only one message life is a challenge meet it right from my childhood i heard many stories of bhagavatam and mahabharata ramayana and other upanishads in that i have seen always the devatas that is demigods or gods they are been troubled by the demons and they underwent all the tribulations in their life so seeing that why i again and again getting a message indirectly from bhagwan which is displayed in every nook and corner of his hermitage life is a challenge meet it and i developed a fear in my mind i can't be in a position to accept any challenges and i luckily i got an opportunity and one day when i was in a darshan line so me just came and he inquired about my health and when did i come to prashanti nilayam and spontaneously i requested and asked him swami why i always found such a message life is a challenge and meet it bhagwan said you are born for that when he told i could not bear it swami i don't want to have any challenges in my life and i cannot bear such pain in my life bhagwan said if you are surrendered to me if you have faith in me you should also believe in my words first of all i give the solution then i make you prepare to undergo the test now when such words comes definitely surrender and faith any devotee must have and i cannot ignore that so i accepted bahan said only three issues are there major issues are there in the life if you try to reconcile you can get resolved and what are those in the first he said the fear as long you have fear you cannot win the race that is first second the critic let it come and go why you bother and third death because of the ailment so in order to re- reconcile and resolve these three issues first you develop faith the self confidence in you and confidence in me that is sharanagati Ult- ultimate absolute unconditional surrender i said definitely so when you have that faith in you why others need you to certify you negate that in from your life no one can judge about you or they can deliver any justification for you it is me who has to deliver a justification and to justify you so if you are pure clean and content so there is no need for any certification acknowledgement or recognition from the public and from that precious moment when i received the boon from bhagwan i realized that i need not to be certified by anyone whatever they may feel about me whatever they criticize about me when 
my heart is pure clean and content i need not to be certified by anyone other than my beloved bhagwan baba so bhagwan baba is for everyone and he loves everyone he is so compassionate so our bhagwan when he is offering his hand stretching his hands to every one of you why you develop fear in your mind remove all the fears and never expect any acknowledgement from anyone hence develop the confidence in you develop the faith in bhagwan and surrender yourself to our beloved bhagwan your life will be most precious for which you have to dedicate and accept whatever the challenges that comes on your way when you accept the things you are the winner of the race thank you one and all embodiments of love live happy stay blessed